Hello. What's up? Yes, I'm a train driver. Oh, quite a few years I've been doing it, yes. Oh yes, I've been to lots of different places. What's that? He 
closer to me I work for a supernatural detective agency and I said okay what on earth is that and he said we investigate supernatural events he said I have frozen the train in time because I think there is a dangerous sorcerer on board your train I said I haven't seen anything unusual but if you say so this was quite a lot for me to take in, obviously. So, the man said, I need to walk through the train and find the sorcerer. And I want you to come with me. The man had a kind face. Bright, glowing eyes and a kind face I followed this hooded man as he wandered down with a small staff in his hand we opened up my door and entered into the first carriage and everybody was frozen in time they were just frozen in time doing whatever it was they were doing it was quite incredible I asked why I had not been frozen and he said it's because he needed my help The train was a long train, it had many carriages, and it could be quite a while until he found the saucer. He wanted me to tell him if there were any areas where someone could hide. And I knew the train well, and there were a few areas where someone could hide. As we walked down the carriage, something very strange began to happen. Tiny little what appeared to be kind of hedgehogs started to roll across the ceiling from the door we were headed to rolling out from the door I don't know where they'd come from but they were rolling across the ceiling sticking to it they were rolling towards us there was about 50 of them I wasn't sure what to make of it but the man in the cloak that was with me he looked quite concerned and he used his staff to shoot them down with some kind of magic bolt some of them got through and they started to jump off of the ceiling towards us trying to uh, use the spikes to attack us the man put a kind of sphere around us and the little hedgehogs bounced off it and I don't know disappeared they just kind of disintegrated I said to the man in the cloak what was that 
they said. The sorcerer knows we're coming for him, so he is trying to attack us with different spells. There will be more, so be careful and make sure you look all around you all of the time. I must say I was quite nervous at this point. Those little hedgehogs looked quite fierce and dangerous. I don't know what I would have done without the man in the cloak. We carried on further and opened the door to the next carriage. Again, the carriage was filled the side with the frozen in time people and as we walked in everything seemed okay but then I noticed something there were a number of people in the carriage wearing hats and the hats began to move. They moved a little bit at first, wobbling left and right, but then gradually it became more aggressive. The hats then levitated off, and lots of legs grew out from around them. They started to along the floor, around the ceiling, they were everywhere. I, I was just blown away by this. What on earth was going on? Mouths appeared at the front of the hands with big sharp teeth in the mouths and they started to gnash, 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 gnashing away as they came towards us. The man in the cloak took out some kind of um, it was like a triangular blade and he threw it and it bounced all around the carriage at such a fast speed I could barely see it. He said, stand back. What I have just thrown is laced with poison and it will kill these creatures. This triangular device bounced around so fast and it seemed to poison all of these hats with legs and mouths with sharp teeth and they all fell to the ground and again they just disintegrated. There was nothing left. They just vanished. By this time I was quite frightened, it was all so strange, but we pushed on. We opened the door to the next carriage, but this time there was something different inside.
of the storm. 